Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Tony Canigliaro Memorial Gymnasium for Catholic Central League girls basketball. St. Mary Spartans entertaining Cardinal Spellman. Michael Garish, the head coach for Spellman. Jeff Newhall, longtime coach. Coached in the Northeastern Conference and also coached in, in for St. Mary's for quite a while. He's also the athletic director. Comes Alice with the shot. Rebound by Avellino. She got hit on the putback. She'll be at the line for two, looking to put St. Mary's on the board first. Spellman, they're a very young team. They only have two seniors. And they're looking for their fourth win. St. Mary's is already in the state tournament. They're 12 and four. And they're looking to keep winning and hopefully maybe get a home court game. Missed them both. And got knocked out by St. Mary's. So Spellman got a chance to get on the board first. For Spellman, three is Olivia Dandrow. Four is, four is Chloe Kelly. Five is Mariah Harris. 25 is Cheyenne Doughton. 32 is Laura Sexton. And the turnover will turn the ball back to St. Mary's. 13 is Pamela Gonzalez. 12 is Nicolette Dietria. 24 is Janice Avellino. 11 is Ashley Sullivan. And four is Olivia Matella. Her shot around the rim and out. And knocked out by Avellino. St. Mary's with full court pressure. Spellman handles it, getting over the timeline. Sullivan tied up Mar Mariah Harris. She got the baseline, but got stuck. And another tie up. Now it'll go to St. Mary's with the alternate possession. So very quickly, Ed. Two turnovers. Dietrich will bring it up. Spellman in a 2-3 zone. Avellino trying to get loose. Looking to try and get inside. Spellman just sagging in saying, St. Mary's, you're going to beat us. You're going to beat us from the outside. Off the rim, no good. Metella had it, couldn't hold on, it was out of bounds. So right now, the Spellman's 2-3 zone is working well for him. That's going to be steps against Cheyenne Dutton. We played a minute and a half and nobody has scored. Almost stolen away. Sullivan lets it fly, too strong. Metella saved it, but she stepped out of bounds. So that zone is giving him all kinds of trouble. Took an extra step again. They've got two sets of sisters. Okay, Mariah Harris is five. Out there now is Kayla Harris, number 11. They also have the Lysko sisters, Catherine and Mary. Patella can't break the ice. Off the rim, no good. Avellino with the rebound, pushing up the Gonzalez. Taking it to the basket. Can't hit it. 
Had her own rebound, but it got knocked out by Spelman. Gabby Torres is coming in. Sullivan's going out. I think we're going to see Yushi Quiles in very shortly, the young, outstanding eighth grader. Torres didn't take the shot, going to the basket. Avellino kicks it out. Long three-point shot, good by Metella. She's having a very good year for St. Mary's. We almost reached the halfway mark as Metella makes the steal. Gonzalez gets the layup. Nice pass from Metella to Gonzalez. Gonzalez with the defensive play, uh, the offensive play. Metella with the defensive play. Halfway mark and Spellman hasn't scored yet. We're gonna get a call against Metella. Harris got stuck. She was going away from the basket in the corner. And Metella hit her. So they get a fresh 30 seconds on the clock. Almost stolen away. Now it is stolen away. Easy pickings for Quiles. Gonzalez on one side, got a piece of it. Quiles from the back side, tipped it away, went coast to coast. Shot, no good by Harris, but she got hit, she'll go to the line. We're going past the halfway mark, 11 seconds past the halfway mark, and Harris is looking to get Spellman on the board from the free throw line. That breaks the ice. They're on the board. Spellman's going to take a timeout. And it's Joey. Seon comes in. Seon in the game. Seven to one. Three forty nine left in this first period. Spellman just got their first point from the free throw line from Mariah Harris. And there he's looking for a Baker's dozen, 13 wins. Yeah, they get right back into it quickly. They have to go down to the Cape. I think it's Nauset. They go and play tomorrow. So they haven't played for a while. They had most of this week off, or all of this week off. Now they're playing Friday and Saturday back to back. So Harris back at the line for a second try. Makes them both. Three-point basket by Torres. That's her specialty. Off the rim, no good. Quillies took the rebound away from Vitria. Off the rim, Gonzalez with the rebound, the easy layup. She had perfect position. The ball landed right in her lap. All she had to do was lay it in. Dietrich almost stole it. It goes to the floor, Gonzalez comes up with it. 
Stolen back by Harris. Three point basket by jo Joey Saya. That's their first basket, comes with two and a half left in the period. Nice move inside, couldn't get the shot to go, bounced all over the rim and out. Queeley's made a very nice move, but they couldn't get it to go. Sullivan and Matella are coming back. In and out, Evelino with the easy rebound and the putback. Off the rim, no good. Tip, Avellino comes away with it. She had it, lost it, and then committed a foul. She was bringing it up court, and she wanted to give it to somebody to get rid of it, and she couldn't. And then she just lost it off the dribble, and then tried to get it back and reached in and committed a foul. And good by Kelly. And it's 14 to 7, St. Mary. They were lucky to get back with that pass. Torres from dead in the corner, off the rim, no good. Back to Matella. Hits the three. Her second trifecta. St. Mary's got a 10 point lead. Stolen away by Matella. And she double dribbled. She stole it, dribbled it, and then was going to make the pass. Couldn't make the pass and decided, you know what? I'll take it up court. And that created the double dribble. Way outside for three. It went out off Grossi who just came in. Tough shot, almost got it off the rim. Grossi gets it ahead. Wheelies, dead in the corner to Matella. To Torres for the straightaway. Off the rim, no good. Shot clock is off. Quick shot. Didn't hit anything. St. Mary's can take the last shot if they choose. Off the rim, no good. That's going to do it for the period. They had Kelly wide open down court, but too late, the buzzer went off. So St. Mary's get out to a quick 7-0 lead. They build it up to 10. It's St. Mary's 17, Spellman 7 at the end of one. St. Mary's has the basketball, and they have a 10-point lead as we start the second eight minutes. Quiles has it knocked away. Quiles inside. Nice pass to Quiles breaking down the middle. Couldn't get the shot off. From dead in the corner, Matella with another three. That's her third. Runner off the rim, no good. Torres took it away. Missed it. Grossi with the rebound. Spellman wants the timeout. Yeah, I see he was a timeout run away with this one early. Not a minute in to the second period, they're up by 15.
Michael Gerrish does a nice job with Spellman. Usually they're right near the top, but when you only have two seniors, you don't have that much experience. Five freshmen, four, four freshmen, five sophomores. You only have four juniors, along with those two seniors. So it's very difficult. We were past the halfway mark of the first period before they got their scores, and that was two free throws. Two and a half minutes left, they got their first basket. And they only got seven points in the first period. And Mary stays with the full court pressure. Dalton pushes it up. And she took steps. Dietrich is coming back. Wheelies is going out. Dietrich brings it up. Looks like Spellman has changed up and gone man to man. Nice pass inside, couldn't hit the shot. Dietrich got the rebound, laid it in. She made a nice bounce pass cross. She might have been a little too far under the basket. Missed the shot, Dietrich followed. Gets the basket, looking for a three-point play. And gets it. Hey, Mary's a young team, too. They only have a couple of seniors. Bounce pass inside. Partially blocked nicely by Metella. Almost stolen away. Metella gets it back. If you thought about it, didn't take it. Gonzalez can't hit it. Kelly had the rebound. Kick it out to Dandro. Here comes Dorton. Steps called again. She's trying to go coast to coast, take it through the defense. She hasn't been successful yet. That's a two by Metella. Dalton is one of those seniors. Here she comes again. Almost traveled again. Off the rim, no good. Dietria. Ahead to Metella all by herself. Plays it in. Seven points in the period for Metella, 13 in the game. And again, a slow start to the period by Spellman. We played almost three minutes, and they haven't scored yet. P.J. Parent in the game for St. Mary's. Bounce it off her foot. Shot clock winding down. Avellino took it away. Broken up by Harris. Picked off by Dandro. Petrie almost took it away. She got a hand on it, knocked it loose, but couldn't keep it in bounds. Shot clock winding down. Stolen away by Dietria. K 
Can't get it to go. Avellino tipped it, tipped it again as they try to go deep. To Sexton. Almost thrown away by Gonzalez. Still how it is thrown away by Gonzalez. Mattella lost it, the ball goes to the floor. Harris comes away with it. Tough shot. Joy Sayer went underneath the defense, got the underhand to go. And she's looking for a conventional three-point play. And again, it took them half a period to get their first points. That's their first bucket. We're just past the halfway mark. Off the rim, no good. Dietrich tracks down the rebound. Gonzalez for three. Five trifectas for St. Mary's. Dietria took the rebound away. They try to go deep. Hustling with Harris to knock it out. Torres is coming in. Mattel is going out. Dietria from three, knocks it down. She's got six in a period and Spellman's gonna take another time out. 3.04 left till halftime and this one was settled a long time ago. A very young Spellman team taking their lumps this year. Hopefully it'll pay off for them the next couple of years with all the sophomores and freshmen they have. St. Mary's jumped out seven to nothing quickly, and that was it. It's been downhill, they've just been pouring it on ever since. Seven different scorers for St. Mary. Five three-point baskets. Three oh four left in this first half. That's all St. Mary. For a very small crowd, not many people here. With big games going on all over the city with English and classical. So the fans are spread out. They go over the top, tip and stolen by Gonzalez, off her foot. Shot misses. They saved it right to Gonzalez. Torres runner goes. This is a very tough game for both coaches. You surely don't want to embarrass anybody. You want to let your players play. Nice fake, missed the shot. Good step by Kaylee Palmer. Off the rim, no good. Avellino with the rebound. Puts it back up and in. And for Jeff Newall, he's gonna have to get a, a lot of plays in the game because you surely don't wanna embarrass the other team. 
It's a good opportunity to get your kids some playing time. Gonzalez, touchdown pass to Torres, out in front for the easy layup. Spellman, we're coming up a minute and a half left. They got one basket in the period. Nine points for the half. Pass thrown away. Avellino winds up with it. Hammond took steps. She had to go up in the air to get the pass. She got it. Wound up taking a couple of steps trying to control it. Ajali Acevedo in the game, along with Ellie Ridden. Jeff Newhall going deep to his bench early with this very big lead. Off the rim, no good. Ridden with the rebound. Gonzalez throws it in. They might want to save some of these for tomorrow. Under a minute left. Tipped away by Deepfield. Boy, she gets her hands on everything. She lays it in. She got eight all in the second period. And the shot clock is off. Off the rim, no good. Gonzalez with the rebound. Torres from dead in the corner. Off the rim, no good. Harris lets it fly. Off the rim, no good. That's going to do it. Teacher threw it the length of the court and almost threw it. It wouldn't have counted, but she almost threw it in. So St. Mary's defensively. They held Spellman to seven in the first period. They held him to two points in the second period. And at halftime, a very comfortable lead for the Spartans is St. Mary's 45, Spellman 9. Spellman has the basketball game as we start the second half, and this one's been over for a while. Spellman only with nine points. They got one basket in the second period. They got seven points. He's put, getting a few more people off the bench. Van Nguyen. Van is very colorful. She's got one blue sneaker and one pink sneaker. It's Nguyen. Quiles. Gonzalez. Grossi. And Torres. Almost stolen away. Almost thrown away. Torres from dead in the corner, no good. I think Samiri's idea is to try and run the clock as much as you can. I don't think you see too many fast breaks. Tip and knocked out. Shot clock winding down. Matella had 13 in the first half. Gonzalez had nine. Dietrich had eight all in the second period. Torres had seven. Seven different scorers. Saya coming off the bench had five and the shot clock runs out. Nobody from the, they're up right in front of their bench but nobody in the bench letting them know that the shot clock is winding down. They're back to that 2-3 zone as Nguyen brings it up. Quiles for three. Around the rim and out. 
Dalton with the rebound stripped away from Nguyen. Almost lost it, got it back. That's an impossible pass. Harris gets hit. Nguyen had Gonzalez right in her lap as she tried to make the pass cross court. And you don't make many of those. Harris got them their first points in the first period with two free throws. She missed that one. Gonzalez with the rebound. Torres to Gonzalez, walks right in and lays it in. She's got 11. Off the rim, no good. Queeley's behind the back with the rebound, and then she took steps. She said, should I give it to Nguyen? Should I give it to Torres? While she was making up her mind, she took a couple of extra steps. Nice give and go. Laura Sexton off the nice pass from Harris. Tours had it stripped away. The ball goes to the floor. It'll be St. Mary's basketball with the alternate possession. Gonzalez is going out. Christiana Manthorn is coming in. Nguyen from dead in the corner gets a three. The sixth three point basket. Give and go again, nicely. Couldn't hit the shot. It got them a basket the last time. <laughs> Ellie Reardon's coming back. Ashley Sullivan's coming back. Almost stolen away by Dandro. Petria to read and off her fingertips. Sullivan off the rim. Dalton almost lost it. She almost fell down. Strong to the basket, a little too strong. Put back by Dalton. Off the rim, no good. Ridden with the rebound, out to Sullivan. Off the rim again. Tip, Sexton, out to Harris. Andro to Doughton. Quick shot, no good. Dietria, Sullivan. Nguyen had to save that one. Those are tough passes you normally, normally don't see. They're moving the ball very well. Stripped away by Doughton. Nice defensive play. Can't hit the shot. The follow by Dandro is there. Good hustle to get up court. Tipped away from Ridden. Back inside to Ridden. 
Take. It's going to be on the floor. It's not going to be a shooting foul. Sexton picked up her third foul for Spellman. Inside to Reardon, fakes, blocked nicely by Sexton. Mattel is coming back, Nguyen's going out. Into Dietria. Inside, Ridden. That one missed. Harris picked up the loose ball. Dietrich got a finger on it, tipped it. Sullivan comes away with it. Trying to go inside to Ridden. Harris knocked it away. Goes to the floor. Dandro. Stolen away by Metella. It goes out off Metella. One tick over two minutes left. Metella missed. Follow no good. Ridden tipped it. Got a foul against St. Mary's. Avellino's coming back. Ridden's going out. Harris outside with the basketball. They're stuck in that corner. Short hits nothing. Sexton kicks it back out. Too strong with the shot. Avellino with the rebound. Inside to Avellino. The kick out to Sullivan. Off the rim, no good. Tip, Metella did a nice job getting it, tipping it to herself. Pass, they telegraphed that one. Almost got picked off by Kayla Harris. Sullivan to the basket, it got blocked. Avellino picks off the block and throws it in. Shot clock is off. Harris had it partially blocked. Martella going to the basket, got hit. She'll get two at the line. A nice little step to go around the defense, and they hit her as she got around. In and out, Avellino with the rebound. Beats the buzzer. So Spellman had seven in the first, two in the second. They get seven more in the third. They've only got 16 points through three periods. St. Mary's comfortably ahead, 54 to 16 over Spellman at the end of three.
Eight minutes of basketball left. Not going to be a happy bus ride back for Spelman all the way to Brockton. They have the basketball. But they have no chance at all. This has been over for a very long time. Sexton gets it to go. That's the quickest they've scored. They almost got... Parent tried to make the bounce pass to Avellino, got kicked out. Quilees. Off the rim, no good. Avellino, Matella. Acevedo. Quilees and Parent, the five out there for St. Mary's. Jeff Newhouse been able to use a lot of his bench. Block. Quilees. And Acevedo combined to block it. Shot is shot. They save it to Sexton as off the floor. Blocked nicely by Quilees. Off the glass and in by Acevedo. She's the ninth scorer for St. Mary's. Nice pass from Acevedo, finishing off. Nice, nice give and go with Sexton. Very nice pass from Dandro. Second time they've run that play. First time with Andro, but both times with Sexton. Patello with the runner. Off the fingertip of Parent. Evelino's going out. Rossi's coming in. Another give and go. They missed the shot. They overthrew the runway with the pass. Picked off by Harris. In the lane, throws it up, no good. Tip, tipped again. It went out off Nguyen. Abby Cornstein is coming in. Knock loose, and they're going to get a piece of Kaylee Palmer knocking it loose. Nobody's in any kind of foul trouble. Darton with the runner. Stripped away from behind. Dalton's out in front. Four in a row by Dalton. An eight to two run by Spellman. Spellman going full court pressure. Nice pass inside, Grossi missed the shot. Blocked inside nicely by Grossi. Knocked out by Spellman. We had thought about it, didn't take it, now takes it. Short, no good, tipped up. 
Dalton is down court. Takes a quick shot, missed it. That one's going to go out of bounds. So Jeff Newhall has got to get his bench a lot of playing time in this game. Harris with the drive, won't go. Gets her own rebound, gets fouled. Good hustle by Mariah Harris. She had four, all of them come from the free throw line. See, Mary's has only tried one, only made one free throw. Makes them both. Spelman's made four all by Harris. Rossi's all by herself under the basket. She missed the shot, missed it again. Jump ball will be St. Mary's basketball. Rossi gets hit by Sexton. She'll be at the line for two. <laughs> Knocks it down. Picture perfect with those two. She gets a seat in the bench as Ellie Ridden comes back. Dalton in and out. You try to go up court to parent. So off the mark. Spellman will make wholesale changes with 313 left. From the corner, no good. Up court. Knocked out of bounds. Harris knocked it away from Manthorne. They try to get the parent shipping in front was Kelly taking it away. Almost threw that one in over her head. Jaden Robinson. Over the head action. That shot's going to be way wide. Off the rim, no good. Wild shot by Harris, but she got hit, so she'll be at the free throw line. Just three ticks under two minutes left in this one. As I said, it's been over for a long time. St. Mary's took a while for both teams to get going, but St. Mary's jumped out to a 7-0 lead.
Didn't get the bounce that time. Tip, Ridden came up with the tip. Too strong. Minute and a half at county. A little give and go, stolen away. On the run, Vanthorn laid it in. 10 different scores for St. Mary's. As we approach a minute and counting left in this one. Around the rim and out. Jump ball will be St. Mary's basketball. Dotton's coming back for Spellman with 50 seconds left. She saved it, but she stepped out of bounds saving it, and she can't be the first one to touch it. And that's Eliza Brown. She hustled, knocked it back in play, but somebody else has to touch it before she does. Around the rim and out. Jump ball, it'll go to Spellman. Harris off the rim. Nice rebound by Abbott. See, shot clock is off. Nice pass inside to Kornstein. Terrific pass by Eliza Brown. And that does it. So they had their best period, Spellman. They got 11 in the fourth period, but they did it against the huge bench that Jeff Nohal got to use for a lot of the game. St. Mary's jumped out to that 7-0 lead and an easy pickings for this Baker's Dozen 13th win of the season. Spellman will have to look for the next game for their fourth win. For Spellman, Mariah Harris, Doughton, and Sexton all had six. Harris got all six of hers from the free throw line. For St. Mary's, Manthorn got two, Kornstein got two, Avellino had eight, Torres had seven, Grossi had four, Acevedo had two, Dietrich had eight, Nguyen had three, Quiles had two, Pamela Gonzalez had 11, and Olivia Matella all in the first half, the leading scorer with 13 points as St. Mary's. That quick 7-0 lead, they pushed it to 17-7 at the end of the period. It was out of sight at halftime, 45-9, and St. Mary's just walked away with a 62 27 win over Spellman for win number 13 of the season. So St. Mary 62, Spellman 27. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoppin saying we'll see you next time. <laughs>